How is it going, YouTube? Morgan's here. We are going to be talking about the add-ons, the add-ons that I have been using so far, the, the ones that I found useful and let's say must to have. And before I jump into it, let me tell you if there's anything that you would like to add to the list of the add-ons, that the, the ones that you have been using, please uh, feel free to like, comment down below. I would definitely like to check them out actually personally too. So that said, before we talk about the add-ons itself, let's talk about like how to install them. There's very, uh, there's a very, very simple and easy way to not only like download, search for add-ons, download them, install them, and at the same time keep them updated, or maybe even like uninstall them. It's incredibly simple. It's the Twitch client, in fact. It used to be the Curse client, but now it's the Twitch um, Windows client, and you can easily download that from twitch.tv slash downloads i'll probably um, give a link in the description for this so you could check it out if you would like and then afterwards on your on your computer after installing this this is going to be it is going to be looking something like this you're going to need to like click basically the mods on the up top and then afterwards you're going to need to click the world of warcraft of course and over here you can you know update everything with one click you can find more add-ons by you know clicking get add-ons and you'll be able to just click an add-on and then click install and then it will just do it automatically all the time and to delete them basically you can just come to your add-ons and from there you can right click to uninstall or like install or basically you know uh try to check for like an update and stuff like that it's incredibly convenient very easy to use um yeah so that's it let's talk about like the add-ons that i've installed so far and i think like pretty much must to have while leveling in classic um, they're incredibly, incredibly useful. So the one that I'm going to mention first is going to be Questy. Questy is basically what it does is it shows you what sort of like quests available to you. Uh, not necessarily literally everything in the entire map, but you know, what is available to you? What are like good quest hubs that you could go to? So if you see over here, like wetlands seems to be a good place for me to go. It, it shows like level 20, 22, and when you accept those quests, let's say, let's assume that like I, I went there, I took them, um, when I accepted everything, it's going to actually like fill my map with like objectives such as this one. So I have like level 28 fire hardened mail, for instance, my quest log apparently, and that quest can be done right over there. So it is going to be showing me those things as well. And this applies to like the entire map. You could continue using this. It's incredibly simplified. I really, really look how clean it looks. It doesn't necessarily cause screen clutter either it doesn't necessarily have any crashes so far either so it is very very nice to have and in my opinion it's one of the must haves of the uh, of the add-ons that i'm going to mention the second thing that i'll mention is going to be the vendor price as you can imagine it is very uh convenient also this one it basically shows you the price of the thing uh of the item that you mouse over in your bags if it's sellable to the NPC. Uh, what that hap what that you know allows you to understand is that like when you start World of Warcraft the first time you have a lot of inventory issues obviously you're gonna you're gonna not necessarily have even this much room and this much room is even like not not enough <laughs> at at any time. Uh, so you're gonna need to delete some stuff on the go because like you want to you want to have an NPC to like sell sell all the time to and uh, while deleting, you would like to, you know, delete something that is worthless. Or maybe even while looting, you're like, hey, look, this, this thing is like, you know, worthless, let's not loot this. So you can basically do that with the vendor price. And it is just that, nothing else. I'm using the SCADA for the damage meter right over here. You can see it. It's the little thing. It's extremely easy to use it too. Uh, by no means, this is a must to have though. If you, if you don't want the damage meter, you don't necessarily need to install it. Another one that I'll mention is the classic cast bars what that does is basically I, sh I should have probably shown it on the video but let's talk about it this way um you know like the name plates maybe if i can like find a player right over there so you know the name plate that this swag guy over here has so if he was casting something uh his cast would be right under his name plate just like in the retail in world of warcraft right now classic is not capable of doing that without this add-on and in my opinion, it is a must to have so that like you can see the enemy cast bars immediately. You can recognize what they're casting. You can decide to like either stun or interrupt uh, earlier on in the game. Not that many classes are capable of interrupting, unfortunately, in classic. For instance, I'm playing a warrior at 24. Unless I'm in defensive stance with a shield, I'm not able to interrupt right yet. But I do know that like counter spell is relatively early for a mage, for instance. Um, the last 
thing that I'm going to be mentioning is going to be the Atlas loot, Classic, since Classic doesn't necessarily have Dungeon Guide either, as far as I know. Um, this thing right over here is called the Atlas loot. It's capable of basically telling you like what sort of loot you can go for from like not only the reputation, uh, factions, but also PvP. But most importantly, it's for the dungeons and the raids. So let's say that you are going to be running dead mines. You would like to see like what the bosses are capable of dropping, and you will be able to look at the list from right over here as well. And you can try to like target farm. Basically, you can talk to your party, say that like you only need that item. And you're going to be needing it so that there's no surprise. It's kind of up to you, honestly. So that is going to be the list that I will mention. I really hope this video was useful. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And uh, you can subscribe as well. I'm doing daily World of Warcraft Classic uh, videos every single day. Yeah. So if there's anything that you would like to add to this list, please do it in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bros.